Hi, I'm Chloe with Nothing Original, and with me is Harvard on the Rarities Tour. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? Good. good. I'm gonna pass the mic around, and can you tell me your name and role in the band, please? My name is Jesse, and I sing and play a few other odd things. My name is Jason, and I play guitar, and I also play a few other odd things. My name is Garrett, I play bass guitar. My name is Matt, and I play the drums. So we're about two weeks into this tour. There's a long stretch of shows ahead of you guys. Which one are you most excited for, and why? Well, the tour has been pretty awesome so far, um, but we have never been to Portland or Seattle, and we're going there on this tour, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but, I don't know, we try to make every night a good night, and then by the end of the tour, we don't remember, you know, what city was what, but just that we had great times, so... after tonight that's gonna change Detroit's gonna stick out it's not gonna yeah it's not gonna blend in I can make that promise that much <laughs> um, so what do you think is important about the difference between playing a live show um, in comparison to releasing songs I'll take this one gentlemen I think so far um, our live show is is more of a true representation of of our music. I, I wouldn't say that we've put out a record yet that fully encompasses what happens live, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a different side of of you know a coin. So I think you would be missing something if you just heard our record and didn't see us live, and you might be missing something if you've just heard us live and not heard our record too. So. Um, we definitely try to to make it a bit more intense um, and maybe you know improvise a little bit over the song structures and um, but I think the reaction from people at the shows is that you know it is a completely different experience um, even if they've heard us before so come see us play. Okay. So looking back at your past releases. Um, what kind of goals do you have for your next release that may differ from the music that you've already put out? And I'm going to hand this off. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't think we definitely set goals, but we don't really plan out exactly the exact direction we go in each record. It just kind of happens. And, um, you know, I think all that we can ask for is just to create something original and unique and you know, not make it like the last record. We definitely like to change things up and kind of push ourselves and experiment in different ways. So, yeah. And is there anything in the works right now? Um, we've been working on a little bit of new material. We uh, we started uh, we started jamming on some stuff together before we left for tour. Um, then. Uh, we went a little further with some of those songs when we were broken down in Asheville before the start of this tour. And uh, right now we've been in the van and we keep on getting asked to do acoustic performances which lead us to writing interpretations of our songs and we're kind of thinking of doing something with that as well. So that's about what's brewing. So you mentioned breaking down in Nashville, yes. So being a musician, Asheville? Where is Asheville? Oh, okay. Um, well, it's good that it was a nice place, but being broken down isn't too pleasant. And being touring musicians comes with a lot of obstacles like that. Hopefully not a lot of breaking down, but just a lot of obstacles. So what are some things you do to get through those as a band? PMA. <laughs> uh, no matter what, um, I mean, we do re really just have to maintain positivity 
and and look at it more like challenges than than burdens. I don't know. It's really hard when the obstacles come up and you just like you take each one with stride. You just do what you have to do. I mean I I don't yeah, PMA. That's the best answer for that question. <laughs> You got to do a lot of, uh, you know, sit-ups, push-ups, uh, long conversations with waffle waitresses, and uh, next thing you know, you're back on the road. So uh, that's what you got to do. Very nice. Um, so you mentioned that viewing them as challenges, and then there's also positive things about being a touring musician, like being able to see the country. Not a lot of people have the opportunity through their job. So is there a specific state or city that, as a band, you enjoy going to from a touristy perspective, not necessarily um, for the crowd, but maybe you just grew to really like the place? Anywhere? I think Matt's really uh, grown to like places, so... Uh I mean, I'm really excited to see the West Coast. This is my first time being able to go out there, so I imagine that'll be my favorite place. I don't know what you guys, what's your favorite city, but definitely I look forward to going to California and Seattle is going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, I look stoked about that. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Um, just because we're from the East Coast, we've been over to California now a couple times, and it's definitely a place to always look forward to. It's, you know, very different from where we're from and it's got, kind of got a different vibe to the whole, I don't know, whole whole side of that country that we like. So, yeah. I'm super stoked to drive through the Northwest and see um, just a big forest and maybe we'll drive through the Redwood Forest and stuff like that. That'll be pretty cool. We got to go to Disney World. On this tour, we played House of Blues, Disney World, Downtown Disney, and I got to go on um, my second date with Jimmy Neutron, which was nice. I hadn't seen him in a couple years, so um, that's probably the highlight of the tour for me. I don't see it going up from there. No? You're not setting the bar very high. you got a lot of time left. Jimmy Neutron, though. <laughs> I guess. I can see your point. So every musician hopefully has positive growth throughout their progression, um, but it's all different. It comes in all shapes and colors. So describe the growth that you guys have seen from the very beginning in your eyes. Growth? Well, we started playing music when I think it was 2006 and we were in college, you know, I think our music tastes have evolved since then. It's been a good, I don't know, a good almost eight years or so. Um, but I think the biggest thing is really learning to write music together and pay attention to what the other person's doing and make sure that everything that we're doing as individuals um, complements the other person's playing so that everything makes sense and fits together like a puzzle more instead of, you know, a bunch of pieces just on stacked on top of each other, you know, like a big mess. So I'm trying to get better at that. And I don't know. That's probably the biggest thing. Okay, so you describe it as harmonious growth? I think, just coming yeah. More, so. Yeah, absolutely. We've also, since we first met each other and started playing music up until now, we spent ridiculous amounts of time together and like had a lot of awesome experiences together as well. So um, I feel like that has had a lot to do with our like our the way we work together in all things as musicians, as friends, as like traveling tourists or whatever we are, gypsies. Um, yeah, it has a lot to do with it. Well, it's good that all that time together hasn't torn you guys apart at all, because I think that happens sometimes with bands. Okay, this is going to be my last question for you guys. Um, what should we anticipate from you after the Rarities Tour ends in the next however many months? What, it, what are some things to look forward to from you guys? 
gonna try and write some stuff. I'm gonna try and make a few videos, maybe. Maybe try and record some stuff and definitely do some more touring. Just, I, uh, I hope we can stay on the road till the end of the year and I hope we can continue to like be productive along the way and not just tour, but like, no, 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 just a lot of ideas. But I mean, it'd, it'd be nice to see some them, like come to pass. Well, I'll keep my eye out then on those ideas that you guys have. Thank you very much for talking to me. Um, Thank you. No problem. Make sure to check out the links provided. Um, go to the rest of the Rarities tour. Oh.